Hello, science people. Today we're going to talk about how the oceans formed. As you probably know by now, the Earth is made up of layers. We have the inner core, which is solid iron, the outer core, which is liquid iron, we have the lower mantle, the upper mantle, and then we have the crust. Now the crust is made up of two parts. We have the continental crust and we have the oceanic crust. Now it might surprise you to find out the continental crust is about 3.8 billion years old. But the oldest part of the oceanic crust right now is only 200 million years old. And you might be asking yourself, what? How is that possible? The ocean's been, along, been around much longer than 200 million years, so how is the ocean floor only 200 million years old? Well, let's talk about it. So the reason that the layers of the Earth are made of different materials is because the more dense the material, the deeper it sinks into the Earth. And so the center is solid iron, because iron is very heavy, it's very dense, and so it sinks to the middle, and then so on. As we move up, each layer is a little less dense than the layer below it. Well, the continent is made up of mostly granite. The oceanic crust is made up of mostly basalt and basalt is more dense than granite. And so what happens is the oceanic crust pushes down harder and deeper into the upper mantle, making it sink deeper into the mantle than the continent. So the continents are floating higher than the oceanic floor. Now, when I was a kid, I thought that the Earth's crust was one solid piece, like the shell of an egg. But if you've learned plate tectonics, you'd know that that's not true. The continent is made up of pieces, and we call these plates. And all these plates are just floating on top of the mantle. Now, even though we're floating, we're not moving very fast. In fact, we move very slow, sometimes only an inch a year. But we are floating and we are moving. And so, once again, the oceanic crust is pushing deeper into the upper mantle than the continents. So the continents are floating higher than the oceanic floor. And that's actually what caused the basins that filled up with the ocean. Whenever you have a basin, you have this bowl into the crust, it'll fill with water. That's where we get our lakes. Lakes are fresh water, you know, fresh water that filled into basins. And our oceans were these big basins that were on our, on our crust that filled up with water. And so you have this oceanic crust that is pushing down deeper into the earth and filling with water. And we have these continents that are floating higher because they're made of granite. Okay, so why is it that the continents are so much older than the oceanic floor? Well, because we are moving, what's happening is the oceanic crust keeps pushing into the mantle and melting and renewing itself. So let's look at this drawing that we have up here. Here we have what's called a subduction zone. So here's South America, over here's Africa. We have the Atlantic Ocean separating South America and Africa. We have the Pacific Ocean over here on the west side of South America. And so the Pacific Ocean is expanding and pushing. And when South America and the oceanic crust collide, what happens is because the oceanic crust is more dense than South America, it goes underneath South America. So as the oceanic crust pushes under South America, it goes into the mantle and melts. And so the Pacific Ocean, its crust, keeps pushing into the mantle and melting. Over at the Atlantic Ocean, we have what's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And that's where new oceanic floor is being created. So we have um, a spot where the mantle pushes up into the ocean and creates new floor. So the mantle comes up into the oceanic crust, cools, and becomes new basalt, new oceanic crust. And so what happens is South America is pushing further away from Africa because we're getting new crust, new oceanic crust, over in the Atlantic Ocean. And then in the Pacific Ocean, because it's being pushed this way towards South America, we have that subduction zone. And so this is how the oceans were formed, and this is how the this is why the oceanic floor is only 200 million years old, because over a period of 200 million years, all of the oceanic crust has gone into the mantle 
and renewed itself. But the continents have stayed floating on top of the mantle for 3.8 billion years.